Hey. You know what's kind of weird is that I've had three albums out and Pitchfork has never acknowledged me except to um, once use me in a story about drama for Foxygen. So they never have acknowledged I'm a musician. That's the whole reason I joined Foxygen because I was a musician. They just completely have ignored me. And only mentioned me once about my drama. Oh, and then they posted they were looking forward to the album The Orange Glow but never reviewed it. And uh, I know it has something to do with Jag Jaguar, the label that Foxygen's on, because they're a really big, influential indie label, and they also are the co-owners of um, Secretly Canadian and Dead Oceans. Those are no two other indie labels that these three labels basically run the indie world, and they're all owned by the same people. Um, Chris Swanson and Darius, I think, they're from Jag Jaguar. I met them when I was in Foxygen, okay? It's just a little bit too weird. When I was on Wichita, I was the only artist, the only one, only one, I checked, who was never reviewed by Pitchfork or any other big media outlets, okay? And I know that's not coincidence. I know that that's because they're trying to blacklist me for speaking out about Sam France, and they're using their money to protect them, Jag Jaguar. Jag Jaguar has money. Not only that, but I caught Jag Jaguar following a hate Twitter. The Twitter was devoted to hating me. The label, professional Twitter, was fucking following it. So that's some more proof I got on them. They have a lot of influential bands on their label. You know, you'll notice that they constantly get media attention. The people on their label, Sharon Vonna and Dinosaur Jr., Angel Olsen, Mitski, Slow Dive, Japanese Breakfast, Kevin Morby, The Tallest Man on Earth, A Place to Bury Strangers, Riley Walker, Phoebe Bridges. These are all artists on the labels. And they all, like, get extensive media coverage, you'll notice, if you look up any of the artists on this label. So it's pretty obvious that they've tried to silence me. And I just want to make this video to let you know, because it really sucks as a musician to just feel like you know that there's people at the top who don't want you to succeed, who literally just don't want you to get heard. So fuck you, those people doing that, because I will be heard one day.